I need feminism because I intend on marrying rich and I can't do that if my wife and I are making 75 cents for every dollar a man makes. When women wear makeup, they're basically lying to us. I don't see why I'm being blamed for a man stupid enough to think I have gold eyelids. A man once got mad because my mom asked me for a tampon in Punjabi and demanded we speak English. So my mom asked him if he had a tampon and he ran away. Fathers, you can't dress men. They only want one thing. Uncles, boys are trying to play you. Cousins, you better not be dating those boys. Brothers, they just want to get inside your pants. Girls, men are trash. Men, collective gasp. How could you say that? I only hang out with guys because they never start drama. Um, please read a history textbook. Bisexual women disclose their orientation. Straight men with barely enough sexual stamina for one woman. I love threesomes. <laughs> Some female squids wear fake testicles to avoid the advancements of male squids. This is what we call innovation. I will never forget how y'all took the term pick me, which was supposed to be for misogynistic girls who were using misogyny to get validation from men and made it a misogynistic term. Like, y'all learned that word and just went with it. Like, and there is something especially nasty about men using the term pick me for women. Like, that was never your term. Why did you adopt that? That you were just looking for another misogynistic term to use it against women. Guys, something that you will notice these people endlessly do on TikTok, okay, is they will never take responsibility, okay? They'll talk endlessly about how they earn less money, you know, we don't get paid as much as men, and men are just misogynists, and they treat us terribly, guys. Um, but they never take the time to reflect and go, you know what, maybe I'm choosing men who don't respect me. Maybe I'm not working enough hours, and that's why I'm getting paid less. Gentlemen, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different on today's episode. Um, I'm gonna be fully transparent with you guys. I recorded this video and uh, I really didn't like it, okay? I thought a lot of the points that I made were terrible and it was quite frankly embarrassing. Now guys, what I'm gonna be doing on today's episode is a little bit different. Um, not any of my normal talking points, okay? What we're going to be talking about today, guys, uh, is responsibility, okay? This is not something um, that I really talk too much insofar as men on this channel, right? I will talk often about how, you know, girls need to take responsibility and they choose terrible partners and stuff like that. Um, but guys, I personally think it's time for us as men to start making better decisions as well, okay? These girls who are on dating apps, guys, you know, the nightclubs and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you're going out here and you're trying to start relationships with these women who, guys, they don't even know what the hell they're talking about, right? They throw out the word misogynist like it's absolutely nothing, okay? And the thing is, guys, is you can't go off and try and start relationships with these women and, you know, and, and go out there and talk to these girls as if you're going to get something fulfilling from it, okay? Guys, I will fleetingly mention every now and then on a video that it's important for you as a guy to, for instance, go to the gym. And I don't say this to you as like, a, oh, yeah, you know, you, you need to get buff and you need to attract these girls because that's what it's important. Getting the girls is important. Guys, I don't want you to walk away from these videos with the idea that getting girls is very, it's something that you need, it's, it's super important, right? Or else you're less of a man right? It's, it doesn't make you less of a man if you have less girls, for example. It doesn't make you more of a man if you're out in the clubs every night swiping on Tinder all the time to try and get in a relationship or try and hook up with these girls, guys. But the reason why I bring this up, okay, is I, I think that men, like, we need to start taking responsibility for our lives, right? If you're an overweight guy, that's on you. You know what I mean? I don't say that to be a condescending a-hole, guys. But the thing is, we need to be, you know, in the gym for ourselves, doing things because we want to improve and we want to get better. I already know, guys, that me saying this stuff is going to result in this video getting far less views um, than the typical video, guys. But I just think it's such an important message and I don't talk about it too often. Guys, on today's episode, uh, we're going to be going through a few things um, on taking responsibility in your own life and why it's important for men. Okay, because this is something that's not nearly talked about as much. Like, I can make videos all day, man, about how, like, oh, look at this idiot on TikTok and look at her terrible dating decisions, guys. But I do want to sprinkle in bits of useful advice for guys, okay? Because I think it's important for, like, I don't have all the answers, guys, but let me tell you something. I'm, I'm a guy, for example... Um, who I, I'm relatively new to the gym, okay? I've been going for a handful of months, not quite a year yet. Um, but, you know, my friends, I've got a couple of friends, right? 
And uh, just for reference, um, one of my friends weighs something like 60 kilograms, okay? And this guy can, and I don't know what that is in pounds, Go, feel free to go and work it out, guys. And this guy can bench nearly double his body weight, you know, bench press nearly double his body weight, guys. And, uh, you know, he invited me out to the gym as well as my other friends. And I went along with them, guys. I learned that I learned the stuff. They taught me the form on all the compound exercises, you know, and now it's something that I aim to have in my daily routine. Guys, I cannot understate the importance of this stuff for men, because when we look at these TikToks and we see girls just refusing to take responsibility, it's kind of important that we don't fall into the same trap. OK, because otherwise your life is going to end up garbage. You know, it's going to suck, man. You got, you know, you're going to be overweight. You're not going to be happy with yourself. Um, or maybe you're underweight. Okay. Maybe you play too many video games. I know I'm certainly guilty of that guys. Like this is not me playing the video game, by the way, this is a friend of mine recording this footage. He offered to help out with the show. Um, but guys, like I'm certainly guilty of playing far too many video games. So this is, these are just some of the things that I wanted to talk about on today's episode. And please don't walk away with the idea that I'm like, I, I know it all guys, or I do everything perfectly because that's not the truth at all guys. Like, you know, I've still got a long way to go. I can't lift as heavier weights as my friends, for example, who have been training for years. Right. Um, you know, I still make stupid mistakes and everything like that absolutely everywhere uh but these are just some of the things that i wanted to talk about today guys and you know this is a lot better than the video that i originally had planned so gentlemen let's jump into some of these things um that might help you okay because i know we've gotten six minutes into the video guys probably a lot of people have clicked off because they don't want to hear about personal responsibility but now it's just kind of you and me guys uh so we're going to be talking about some of these things so i'm going to be pulling up a reddit article here gentlemen of some of the things that might help you Okay, so we're going to be going through some of these lists and I'm not saying like help you is in like, oh, you're a dude that, that needs to be helped. But like if you're a guy and you're, you know, looking to improve your life, these things can really help you out. So please don't think that I'm coming at this from a condescending angle. So let's jump into some of these things, guys. Small things that you can do to improve your mentality. I think this is supposed to say the first thing is clean your bedroom. Remember, your bedroom is the first thing you see in the morning and the last view you get before going to sleep. Make sure it's clean. It'll make you so much happier and feeling proud that you got your life together. Guys, how many times, for example, do I show you gentlemen like um, TikToks of these women, right? And they're like walking through their bedrooms and they're like holding up their phone. I think there was a really recent video where we did one of those, right? where the girl was like walking through her room and she had her phone up and she was like, I'm off my meds, ha ha ha, right? And she was saying all this kind of crap and and her room was just an absolute mess, guys. You can tell a lot about like kind of where a person is at just by the environment that they're in, okay? I know it's not always easy to keep crap clean, right? Especially like, I don't know, you might be a single father, for example, you got kids running around the house. I don't know your exact situation, guys, um, but you know, your environment is going to do a huge thing to dictate how you feel throughout the day. If your environment is messy, guys, if it's, you know, overcrowded, stuffy, um, that's going to make your mind feel exactly the same kind of way. You know what I mean? Like, guys, I don't know about you, gentlemen, but I feel like I feel like utter crap on the days where my room is just an absolute mess. I don't know about you guys. Like, I have like a separate area, for example, where I do these videos, right? I have a separate space that I aim to keep clean. Um, I've got to keep like it acoustically treated. I don't know if you guys can hear a small echo, but like th there are things that I still need to set up, but I try and keep it clean because I know I'm going to feel like crap throughout the day. And that's probably true for you guys as well, um, where the thing is like we, I don't know if you guys have ever I personally haven't, but I've I've been in the houses of single mothers, for example, like friends of friends and stuff like that. And guys, like th their houses are just absolute messes. You know what I mean? Like it's like, sh like, and I understand it's difficult. You know, you, you got kids running around. It can be difficult to clean the house sometimes. But like their entire their entire you know environment is a reflection of what's going on through their mind guys these are girls who you know they go out they have lots of casual bedroom fun right if you didn't if maybe you're new to this channel guys single mothers okay they're not as angelic as they portray themselves to be all right they they go out here they have the party fun guys i can't tell you the amount of times right i see these girls they've got a kid at home and then they like they pass off the kid to like a family member or whatever and i see like these single mothers out you know, they're posting Instagram stories of like how they're out on the town or all this kind of crap, guys. Like it's it's really not good. So make sure you keep your environment clean, guys. It's going to help you a lot as you're going through the day. 
Um, and it's just going to make things so much easier on yourself because you're going to feel like such crap. Like if you guys have ever like had a messy bed, right? And you try and go to sleep while stuff is on the bed. Guys, it, it just it just makes everything feel like such a mess. It makes the sleep feel awful, guys. Um, and that's just one of the things uh, that might help you out. But let's continue with this list, okay? Second thing and third thing is brush your teeth and put on clothes that fit you. Yes, we all forget, including I, but brush your teeth in the morning will set your day off. It's a way of saying the day has begun because without it, you feel lost. Put on clothes that fit you. You know it's frustrating. Putting on clothes that are too small or too long, it will get to your head and it will infuriate you. Due to your frustrations, everything will get on your nerves. Put it on something that is comfy, that you're comfortable in and watch yourself feel great throughout the day. Uh, guys, I'm just going to like rant off uh, a few things that I've been doing lately. Um, if you haven't already, guys, make sure you get an electric toothbrush, man. <laughs> I got an electric toothbrush the other day. And like, I can't tell you the, the difference, right? It's made like, it, it just makes, guys, get an electric toothbrush, okay? It's, it's so important. Um, and also, guys, if you didn't know, uh, you can actually, there are multiple ways. For example, if you're a dude who's got yellow teeth and um, maybe that ruins your confidence a bit because you feel like your teeth look terrible, you can actually whiten your teeth. And I know this is going off on a tangent, guys, but I just want to answer. These are a lot of questions that I get, for example, over on Patreon. And a lot of guys ask me to make a video like this. I already know it's going to get significantly less views. So I'm just going to, you know, address all of these things as we go through, okay? Um... If you're a guy and you have like yellowish teeth and stuff like that, get into the habit of brushing your teeth daily. Use a, um, uh, you know, a, a whatever, automatic toothbrush. I forget the word for it. Goodness, man, I'm forgetting words all over the place. An electric toothbrush, right? Um, make sure you floss, but also there are multiple ways to whiten your teeth. You don't need to spend like $1,000 to go in and get your teeth whitened with like a Zoom whitening machine or anything like that, guys. You can get for relatively cheap, you can get teeth whitening strips. Um, and then the cost beyond that as well, if you want to go the next, basically it's like a a cost to money ratio. So if you want to blow a lot of money and just get it done super quick, you can get your teeth whitened at the dentist with a machine that they stick in your mouth. Um, but otherwise you can use strips that you can get, um, you know, from the chemist, I believe, and they're relatively cheap and you apply them each day. It's kind of slower, but your teeth will whiten so you can fix it that way. There are a few things to also mention, guys. If you're a guy who's got a bit of money, you can also get things like veneers um, or you can get Invisalign to straighten your teeth and options like that, guys. So there's a few options there. Um, as far as clothes go, guys, it's it's really... Imp I, I actually totally agree with that point. I, I like hammer on my friends all the time about this, guys. Like, make sure you wear clothes that you feel comfortable in, but don't, don't be dressing... Like, this is just my opinion, guys. Don't be dressing like you look like crap. You know what I mean? Like, don't be out here wearing like baggy and terrible clothes and stuff like that, guys. Your image is really important. And I don't say that in like a superficial way. Like, yeah, bro, we're going to go out here and get these girls and dress this. When I say this crap, guys, it's not for the girls. You get me? Like, I, I don't, I don't, I didn't go on a little rant there about teeth, right? So that we can get white teeth so we can attract more girls. That's some dumb crap, guys. Like, as I'm getting older as well, I'm starting to realize that more and more. It's like, these girls don't know up from down, man. They truly don't know up from down. It doesn't say a lot about... If you can attract a lot of girls, yeah, it might say that you're physically attractive or, you know, you have some other... But it truly doesn't mean a lot, guys. Like, these girls make terrible dating decisions. In case you haven't noticed, guys, the men that these women choose to get with, they're not always the best people. They're not well-rounded. Oftentimes, they're not very happy. You know, they don't have hobbies that make them a well-rounded individual. Okay, like a, a lot of them distra display traits that are not conducive to good mental health, for example, high levels of sociopathy, right? These are not things that you want to aim to get, right? And this is this is something that I've kind of learned over time as well, gentlemen, is, you know, women do not um, determine how valuable you are, right? How many women you get does not determine how valuable you are as a man, okay? There are other things that you need to be focusing on. Just, if anything, guys, just purely for a selfish thing, just literally for yourself. And I don't feel bad saying that, guys, because I think a lot of guys walk around at the moment and they don't do a lot of things for themselves at all. Like, I, I would much prefer that men start to put effort into themselves. And I know this video is going to come across as hell corny, guys. 
and you know not a lot of people are going to watch to the end and that's totally fine i'm totally okay with that um as long as i get through to one guy who's watching this video and he's like and he's things are starting to click for him okay so let's continue with this wake up nice and early the last thing you want to do is wake up in the afternoon and the day has already begun and then you're playing catch up waking up late means you've missed out on a day instead of doing something productive you slept by waking up early it'll make you feel fresh and ready to take on the world you'll then be able to plan out your day rather than playing catch up and not being productive if you were to wake up at 1 p.m 2 p.m or even 5 p.m here's the thing guys you need to have a consistent sleep schedule if it, I, I remember guys when i was a kid i don't know if you guys had this experience right but thinking back i always thought to myself like oh wouldn't it be great if you know i could just sleep whenever i want and stay up as late as i want and that's going to be super cool but the thing about it guys is like we as human beings we need some sort of structure in our life if you're a dude and you're going out here and you're like you know, you're sleeping at random hours, you're pushing your sleep schedule forward. Lord knows I've been guilty of that all the damn time, right, guys? Like, but I really try to fix that, okay? Because, and, I, and I'll get into that in a minute, guys, but it's important to have consistency, okay? The thing is, like, for example, guys, um, my sleep schedule, I'm just going to be totally transparent, guys. I'm essentially nocturnal. It's not fantastic, but, you know, the work that I do often demands it, guys. Um, and also, I do Patreon calls and stuff like that. And I understand that a lot of um, the people who I do calls with are on different time zones. So it just lines up better that way because I have work to do at nighttime anyway. I'm not going to give away what exactly my work is. You know, there's that guy that'll track me down in the comments, right? Um, but it's important to at least have a consistent sleep schedule, guys. Like, wake up at the same time every day. And on a note about that as well, guys, is I found it's actually better to... Like, if you um, accidentally stay up too late, for example, wake up the exact same time that you normally would anyway and go throughout that day being a little bit sleep de deprived. Don't move your sleep schedule back to try and account for this, okay? Because what's going to happen is things are just going to get out of whack more and more, guys. Like, if you stay awake too long, wake up the same time anyway and go throughout the day being a little bit sleep deprived because that's going to be the lesser of two evils guys it's more important for you to keep your routine um and, and kind of keep your uh, keep keep that routine about you otherwise things are just going to slowly start to fall apart but let's continue uh into the rest of this list and take a bit of a look wake up nice and early blah 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 put some music on in the background if you're doing some chores laundry work etc you don't want to do that in silent right put some funky and happy music on you don't have to blast it simply high enough so that you're able to hear it and sing along music makes everything better next thing tidy up the house the last thing you want to do is wake up with a, with a pile of dishes the laundry to do hoover the stairs it's frustrating as you were too lazy to do it the day before instead of keeping the house as a mess clean up after yourself as soon as you do something just had food clean your plate plate and cutlery got some dirty clothes put them in a washing machine something broke fix it right away Go for a walk. If you're bored in the house, don't lounge about. Get out there and go for a walk. Not only you'll get some fresh air and work on your fitness, but you get a change of scenery too. Instead of starting at the same time every day, you'll see some sun, trees, grass, and actual sky. Next thing is start the day with a nice shower. The best way to feel refreshed as soon as you wake up is to have a nice shower. You don't have to be in there for long. Five to ten minutes will do. When you get out, you'll feel cleaner, fresher, awake, and happy. This is the best way to start the day. Guys, these are just some of the things that I kind of wanted to go over. And truth be told, guys, I don't talk too much about on the channel, right? It's kind of, it's kind of a little bit frustrating as the content creator when I make these videos, guys, and like, I know what's going to get the most views, right? What's going to get the most views is a girl who's, you know, she's failed at her dating life. She's, you know, she's, uh, she's got wrecked by Chad and she can't make it back or, you know, she can't get Chad to commit, for example, like that video is performing pretty well. Um, you know, th there are certain types of things where, you know, they're going to perform well, but the thing is guys, and I think, don't get me wrong. I think a lot of information in those videos is really useful for guys to hear to understand relationship dynamics and stuff like that guys but like i just want to be fully transparent here sometimes i actually have to take a bit of a break from the content i produce for example guys i actually have um two editors at the moment right and the reason why i have two editors guys is because it's not always fantastic for me to like you guys might be able to come and watch a video here and there and it's okay but trust me guys when you look at this stuff all day you've got to get out there and clear your head right because you know not everybody out there okay there are gradients to this stuff guys i will acknowledge but not everybody is you know as stupid as that single mother for example who who's like going out here treating all men terribly and stuff like that guys like i think a lot of people are shocked to find out 
Right, I get people that'll come to my videos, man, and they'll say, Oh, Taylor, you know, you must be like short and fat, right? Or you must, you must hate, you know, you must have a poor relationship with your mother and your father. It's like, guys, I have tremendous amounts of respect for my mother and father. Okay, I'm not fat. I'm not short. I'm six foot three. Okay, but you know, people get this certain idea about you um, and, and they want to come and just just talk crap, guys. But the thing about it is like, there are there's useful information in those videos for sure. But don't overdo it. You know what I mean, guys? Like, watch some of my videos, um, maybe learn a thing or two, and then kind of continue on your way, guys. And and I'm hoping to kind of reach more guys with the with the elements in those videos that can actually help them. And don't get me wrong, guys. Like, for example, when I was a younger dude, and every guy comes to this realization at different ages, right? So, for example, I did a Patreon call yesterday with a, a man who was considerably older than me. He didn't say his age, and I, I didn't you know, pester him to ask about it or anything like that. But, you know, the, the guy was clearly older than me. And he said to me, you know, Taylor, I wish I knew some of these things when I was younger, right? I wish I knew these things about women uh, when I was younger in age. And, you know, that's really fantastic to hear. The guys learned something and that's fantastic, guys. Um, like, I don't want to take anything away from that. And there's certainly things that I needed to know as well that I've learned from bits and pieces from the men in my life, from other YouTube channels, for example, that have honestly been invaluable, guys. But at a certain point, you've also got to be like, okay, well, what can I do? You know, what's the next thing that I can do? Right. It's not always good to be focusing on like, you know, screw, you know, screw these girls and everything like that, guys. We got to focus on our goals. And I don't mean that in the sense of like, yeah, guys, the only thing worth achieving is going out here and making money because money's the only thing that matters. No, guys, you know, your mental health matters, your fitness matters, your, your cardiovascular health matters, for example, guys. Like, no, nobody wants to talk about that, for example right? Like as a man, guys, one of the leading causes of uh, men going off this planet early, shall we say, is uh, cardiovascular health, guys, you know? And this is actually a bit of a running gag with me and my friends, okay? I, I need to start doing cardio, guys. Me and my friends, like we just lift weights, right? That's what we do. We do, um, you know, we focus on the compounds. We do uh, bench squats, deadlifts, right? All that. And the thing is we have this running gag where like we say that uh cardio is for pussies right <laughs> right but it's really not okay it's it's super important thing to do i have this one friend guys um you know don't let him know i said anything nice about him but you know the the guy rides bikes a lot and truth be told guys we all pick on him a lot for it we're like oh you know you ride bikes that's lame just lift weights bro and, and this guy can bench more than me okay he can deadlift more than me he's been going to the gym way longer than me and i've learned a lot from him um, but the funny thing is we make fun of him for going on all these bike rides, guys. The guy rides a hell of a lot, um, but it's actually really good for your health, okay? And I think more dudes need to get into that. And truth be told, guys, I need to be getting into cardio, to be honest with you, at least ending ex uh, at least ending um, workouts, doing like 30 minutes of cardio or something like that. Um, but I I'm trying to gain weight as well, so I'm kind of cautious about integrating that because I'll lose more calories um, and I I'm on a, a weight gain grind. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, guys. So I don't know. Is there anything else I want to talk about on today's video, guys? Like if you've made it this far in the video, gentlemen, um, I I'd honestly be surprised because not a lot of guys want to hear this kind of stuff. It's just me ranting about the things that might actually be useful for you. Okay, like a, a lot of guys, I think as well, uh, you know, don't necessarily want to pick up the things that are going to be useful for them, right? And I think that's incredibly sad. I, I know that mediocre tutorials and reviews um, brought this point up as well in the live stream quite a while ago. He was saying, you know, look, I can make videos about how you know girls with disgusting behavior, and don't don't get me wrong, guys, I'll continue to make those videos and everything like that. I, I'll continue to make those videos. Guys, find them helpful. It is what it is. Um, but, you know, mediocre tutorials and reviews, for example, I respect the guy. Um, I, I like his work. I think he's an, he's a lot, he's a more well-rounded man than I will put it that, we'll put it that way. Right. Um, and even, you know, he brought up the fact that a lot of guys, they just want to focus on the negative guys, but I hope that you get something positive out of these videos that you can actually kind of take away and, and improve your life with guys. Like whether that be going to the gym, eating healthier, getting your money, right. That's not to say that money should be your only goal or anything like that, guys, but, you know, just taking away something that's constructive for your own life. Um, I wanted to jump into a few of these comments. I haven't actually read these, but we're still on the same Reddit post here of the things that are, you know, um, can help you throughout the day. 
Um, but I want to see what some of these people in the comments have to say. So let's take a bit of a read. I think you missed one really important one. Do nothing. That's right. We do way too much. Take a break and let the mind, body, and soul rest for a while. I was just about to say this. I actually recently suffered a heart attack by always telling myself if I just push past being tired and do this one thing, I'll feel better. I'm 30. I have no prior health concerns. I never did feel better after pushing myself to do these things. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing. Guys, I have like a... um. I got a whiteboard where basically what I do is I set up um like tick boxes, right? And I have certain things, certain tasks to do every day, guys. Because what a lot of guys don't understand is you actually have like a certain amount of willpower each day that you're able to expend on things. Like it's not an infinite, um, you have willpower to just use endlessly, right? And what I do, guys, that, that might help you, I don't know, um, is I have a whiteboard where I have certain tasks that I need to do each day. For example, I need to, you know, I need to go to the gym. I need to eat enough calories. I need to record three videos. I need to speak to my editors. And those are like the some of the four biggest tasks um, throughout the day, right? And, and I, you know, I put a tick next to each one after each day, guys, when I do that task for the day. And if I miss a, if I miss something, guys, that doesn't mean that you stay up longer and like you, you try and make it up by, you know, forgetting sleep or anything like that guys you just say to yourself okay i missed that i'm gonna try better like even when i don't feel like doing it guys i'm gonna try better for the next day because that's how you improve and you get better at things right i think a lot of guys they watch videos like this and they get the wrong kind of idea like where a lot of guys might and you might notice the footage is looping a bit here guys <laughs> i ran out of gameplay footage so i've been looping it for a little bit here but um i think a lot of guys come to these videos and they get the wrong kind of idea I'm not, I don't want you guys going out here treating people like crap and, you know, treating them terribly and stuff like that. I frequently get comments of dudes who come to videos like this and they're like, you know, I, I don't want to be like those players who treat people terribly. And I don't want you guys to walk away with that message from these videos at all. Like, you don't need to go out here treating people terribly, you know, just ignoring girls for the sake of it or anything like that, guys. Like, if, if you're texting a girl, for example, I want you to be genuinely busy. You know, you're not responding like six hours later because like, oh, ha, ha, that's going to get her. It's like, no, you should have better stuff to do, things that you care about. Um, and I don't I don't mind what it is, guys. Like, I'm not going to, I don't shame dudes for their hobbies. Like, I've spoke to guys who do like, um, you know, like Warhammer, right? Where there's like those little, I'm going to totally butcher this, but there's like those little statues um, that you that you play with and you build your army and stuff like that. And guys will literally spend hours painting these things, man. And I'm like, hey, that's that's cool. That's that's your thing. That's what you're into. I'm not out here trying to shame dudes for what they're into. It's just make sure that you have the time, you know, you're making time to do those things as well as do the productive things every day, guys. I think a lot of guys kind of get caught up in the, oh yeah, I'm, you know, I'm going to go out there and I'm I'm just going to have all this casual bedroom fun and it's not going to reflect poorly on my health or anything like that. And I'm going to go out there and I'm just going to be just like these 304s, right? And I'm going to treat everybody like crap. It's like, no, guys, like I, I say on, the, on the, uh, the channel quite a lot that respect is earned, okay? But that doesn't mean that you should go out here treating people like a-holes. And I think a lot of guys know that. Um, but you know, I, I just want to make that absolutely clear guys. Like the, the purpose of this channel is not to go around and treat people like terribly and go, you know, screw those women or anything like that, guys. I do want there to be like a, a better message to it. Um, and I'm hoping that you guys can pull something away from these videos. That's a little bit constructive, uh, for your life. Don't get me wrong, guys. I think a lot of the things that we talk about on the channel are incredibly important for dudes to know. Like for example, the pitfalls of marriage, the pitfalls of relationships, how relationships actually work, the dynamics that go into a relationship. Um, you know, how infidelity works, why it occurs, what girls are actually attracted to. All of these things are incredibly important. And like making videos where girls are doing stupid stuff is a great way to convey them, right? Because we can play it out in real time. Um, but at a certain point, guys, we do need to be focusing on things that can help us and not always focusing on the negative. So gentlemen, I just wanted to kind of leave today's video uh, with that thought right there. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably, you know, this video is probably going to get like 10,000 views and the other ones like where women cry and all that will get like 50 plus thousand views. But I just thought that this was an important one to make. So you know, for the, for the single individual, for you, <laughs> yes, you who uh, made it to the end of the video, man, I just want to say that I appreciate you and uh, I hope your life's going well and uh, always take those steps to make yourself better every day. And I'll be seeing you boys, boy, excuse me, uh, in the next episode. So take it easy guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.